Welcome everybody to another episode of Community Voices. Uh, today, this is a special one, a very special mm -hmm. episode. Um, not only is it Juneteenth, where you know we continue to just remember our ancestors and the freedom they fought for, and, and you know how we continue to make that impact and continue to carry on their legacies and the work that we do. But you know, sitting with somebody who is the future, somebody with a Good. very bright future, um, super talented in multi many ways, music, sports. Um, Colorado Buffaloes starting quarterback Shador Sanders. Definitely. Thank you for joining us for CB, man. Legendary, man. It's legendary. Absolutely, man. How you feeling today? Good. Just got off the plane. Feeling good. Uh, w just walking around shopping. That's it. I love it. I love it. Now, I want to start off here because I, I just kind of mentioned it too. You're a natural born athlete. You've, yeah. you've been able to do pretty, you probably who better than me, and that's not even your primary sport. Yeah. Um, but at what point, you know, in that time, too, you know, that kind of Multi the athleticism runs in your genes too, like from mm -hmm. your dad to your brothers. At what point was it where you were like, football is what I want to do and that's where I want to start actually strengthening my craft and honing in on that aspect? Well, football always been the main thing. Uh, dad used to make us wake up in the mornings running snakes around the whole field. That's every line <laughs> for 100 yards. Like we did that so many summers in a row. We, he always hosted like camps and stuff at the crib. So we did a, like growing up it was always football. But um, I will say in like middle school, I played, no, not middle school, it was high school. I got all my offers like after my um, sophomore summer and I went to like try to hoop mm -hmm. one time and it was just like, they thought I was shallow, so I was happy because <laughs> I was out there playing mid, honestly. We was playing, we was playing against DISD schools, I was out there mid, I'm like, yeah, it's time to hang it up. I can't be a, I can't have all these offers and then be out there being tried, mm -hmm. so. Then I'm like, yeah, that's just bad for the brand, so I stopped playing basketball. I feel it. Then feel baseball, like... mm. Shiloh was pitching one time. I'm out there on the gate, chilling. I'm leaning on the gate, dad mad. He told me, don't you ever disrespect this game. <laughs> yeah, so he was doing that, giving me a whole sermon, uh, basically because they was not going to cover off Shiloh's ball. He was pitching, and they mm. was hitting it good. They was yeah. hitting the ball. So I'm like, yeah, it's going to go back here anyway. I might as well chill there. <laughs> And then dad got mad, and after that, I just lost love for the game. I feel that. I feel that. I feel yeah. that. So everything kind of just got you there, really, organically, too. Yeah, like <laughs> football always been the main thing, but we, we grew up doing everything, playing the piano, making music, playing the guitar. So it was like a lot, we're well-rounded in all aspects of life. That's dope. That's dope. Now, I think, too, one thing for me is that I think you're in a very special point of your career, right? Like, mm -hmm. you're young, talented. You've seen success in various areas from high school to, and now even now and you grow up in a circle that has a lot of valuable things to pour back into you not just you pouring into them you then pouring back into you from your dad to family people around you mm -hmm. and but you're not the average quarterback either right like there's a lot of pressure on you people are going to be a little bit more harsher on you and things like that so I would love to kind of know with those extra added pressures on top of you know your own pressures of like you know bettering yourself getting better at your craft and not really, you know, blocking out the haters and all that kind of stuff. How do you continue to be the best Shador that you can be with all that noise going on? Well, I'll say each and every year is a year of whatever you, how I look at it is, like every year, like whatever you go through in that year is just uh, building you for that next year. So life, like for me, I'll say personally, it's been like the same, like each year it'll have different things, but it'll be the same time of year to where mm. It's boring around this time. It's usually boring around this time. Yeah. So it's like each year you, you learn different life lessons and then it all it does is prepare you for the next year that's coming. So uh, it's really just getting training wheels. So whatever I'm going through this year um, and you know, just in the media and stuff when they just lie, try to paint a picture of you like that you're not really, you just gotta accept it and just, okay, this is what comes with it. Uh, because next year, you know, the main goal is to be a top draft pick, and uh, all that's gonna come with it also. So all it is is just stepping stones each and every time, uh, each and every year. I love that, and I think too, you know, you, you speak to it so well, right? I think you have the perfect mindset on how to approach it. It's, it's humbling, but you're aware, but you're also knowing yeah. like what you need to focus on and stay locked in on. I think for me too, one thing I've always wondered, especially as like a black man, because you know, mental health is really big in the community. Mm -hmm. I would love to just know, I think a lot of times, 
you know, you're really good at, like, it, from a parent outside, right? You're really good at handling those kind of things. I am but, to the public as I am. I am okay, man. At home, look. Like, the say, same way I am that? on Bucky's YouTube, that's the same. <laughs> on Well Off Media, that's the same way I am, man. Now, like you, you listen to these other sources, they're going to make it seem like I'm just, uh, I'm a whole different guy. Yeah. But whatever you see on video and you can just look in the past, it's all the same. TV shows, everything. So my character always been the same. What What are some things that you do to like, like, like to take care of your mental health in a way too? You know, I just gotta say, I, I always see you smile. To me, people smile says a lot. Yeah. But to me, it's also like, you know, behind that smile, sometimes the days aren't, it's, it's not always easy to have that big smile. So it's like, how do you yeah. maintain your mental health? Right? It's like, it's I mean, you know? life, life is good. I yeah, just I like can't. That. Uh, it always could be worse. There's always some things like, you know, in the past years you, you, you wanted to have and now you have it. You got to always remember how you felt back in those times mm -hmm. that you didn't have, you know, what you what your goals was and what you wanted to accomplish. So that's what I always like draw back and look back on whenever, you know, things are getting tough, whenever you stressed out a little bit and stuff. But other than that, you're just blessing you in a good position. So you can't you can't ever take what you have for granted. I love that, man. I love that. That, that speaks in my spirit because that is a good perspective to have because, you know, no matter what life those are, you remember you're blessed. Mm -hmm. And you also remember that, you know, things don't happen to you, they happen for you. Mm -hmm. So, like, that mindset is, is just so... Yeah, so you're always going to have problems. That's, that's yeah. always... Like, it's always going to be problems. Exactly. But yeah. it's just how you, you know, deal with it and how you look at it. I love that, man. I love that. Exactly. Especially, like I said, especially just in life. You always have problems, but they all have their their own like value yeah, to them, too. Yeah, so. Now, this being Community Voices, we're also continuing, uh, you know, our mission to have community impact. It's also being a special Juneteenth episode. Continuing to have that impact, you know, because, you know, we are the future. And so we must continue to carry on that impact and bringing our community together and, you know, just really bringing everybody together. We're not really all free until we're all free. So we have to continue doing our community work and giving back to our people. And with that, we'll be donating 15K to the Winning Team Foundation to Definitely. continue their mission to, you know, just impact, impact people. And just really those things that people don't always understand how valuable, you know. Sometimes mm -hmm. you may not see them in the moment, but it's, it's what they go through when they go home, when they need that. This may be a hard day for them. This may be that one piece that clicks. And now they're feeling like, I got more in me. So this kind of work is just extremely important. And so we're very excited to donate 15K to the Winning Team Foundation. Um, one thing with, that's cool. One thing about um, your family, and I, you know, we've seen that online, very big on community. Yeah. Giving back, having a bigger impact, speaking to yeah. the people. And you know, we still see it all the time. What does it feel like to um, grow up in a family like that where you kind of learn that lesson young and then also be in a position to be able to do that now? Well, I feel like, the way how dad raised us was, was different and it was uh, really unthinkable. Something that I feel like a lot of kids wouldn't understand, a lot of kids wouldn't, wouldn't really go through to where he moved us to, we went to like inner city schools, like our middle school years. Mm -hmm. So then we all got different friends, friends that you, you come from a side of town to where you got friends that got everything, they got nice houses and stuff, to then you're, you're around other guys that don't have as much. Right. So then now we're not looking, now we all the same. You know, he, he instilled that mentality in you to where you were able to see it on, on the game field. Mm -hmm. You were able to see it because of just really how he raised it to like not, like having trust funds and stuff like that. Like, I know I don't got no trust fund. <laughs> hey, Shala don't need this, so people don't, people don't know that. So it's like, hey, this is, we make a scene, but this is like, you know, it's, it's, it's reality. If we yeah. don't make nothing out of it, then, you know, I don't know. It's on y'all, yeah. That's yeah. on us. So that's the thing. All you could do is just, you know, accept and just be thankful that dad, you know, gave you the opportunity to be able to do what you got to do. It's up to you to take advantage of it. So I love that. that's the main thing. I love that. You know, being legendary is also a busy thing, so I want to make sure I respect your time, too. Yeah. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually look at my phone for this one because I want to make sure I quote this right. Us being from Texas, I think, you know, I've done my research on this. Like, the, the Juneteenth is really based off the Galveston, Texas. The, the, the last slaves that were freed from Galveston, Texas. Mm -hmm. um, and there is a, uh, a leader out there who's been around for a long time, an activist out there who's been around for a long time. Her name is Opal Lee. Um, I thought it was just very valuable to, one, bring in this quote and then go into my last question for you. At one point, she said, um, none of us are free until we're all free. Freedom is what we're still working towards. Um, the reason why I mention that is I think freedom today is can be seen as something different. You know, we have we're very blessed to be in a whole different life, to have different things, access to different things. Granted, there's still a lot of work to do. 
I would love to know, I, I was thinking too, you know, this NIL deal stuff is new, the independence, the you know, entrepreneurship that athletes are allowed to have and ownership of their brand they're allowed to have now is a newer thing. Some people didn't um, necessarily come up with that. I would love to just know for Shadur, what does freedom look like to you? Uh, freedom for me is getting to the point to where you're so successful, you could do whatever you want to do. Mm. Like, I feel like you're not really free. I feel like, well, I don't know. I feel like mentally, I don't know if you're ever able to be free because you'll always be chasing something. Mm. No matter what, what level you get to, no matter how much money you get, it's always going to be more and more yeah. that it's just going to happen. It's going to be more you want to do, more you, you want to get and things like that. So it's like, you could be thinking, okay, I want to give away a hundred shoes to kids, but then you could also think, okay, I want to build a store and ship all the shoes and be able to get all the merch. So it's just mm -hmm. you just got different expensive ideas. Yeah. That where it's like I just feel like mentally, I feel like you'll really never, never be to the point to where everything, unless like you you have a family and all that, then you feel more like it's more yeah. wholesome and stuff. But like, yeah, I totally right get what you're saying. Yeah, because like you know, I think there's there's layers to the to the aspect. It's of different freedom levels to everything. Too. It's different levels to everything. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. Yeah. I think too. Like, like you now, know. you could think, okay, I want to give one free NCAA game away to now want to <laughs> give a hundred away. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So mm -hmm. it's different. There's just so it's much work. To, yeah. to constantly do when you like I said, you give away a hundred. There's somebody who's ready to give away a thousand. Yeah, or a brand so. ready to give away a whole fleet. So it's like the work so never stops. different levels to everything. I love that, I love that, man. So it's just about mental to me. It's just yeah. about, like, what do you, like, for yourself think? What do you, for yourself, like, keeps you happy and stuff like Because you're always going to not be free mentally because you're always going to be working towards something. Yeah. Ah, Pops yeah. worked his whole life, you know, just with football and sports and everything. And now he's finding other avenues to give back, and he's always working. So you ain't, I feel like you ain't never really mentally free. I ever. love that. You're always working towards something. I'm not even going to speak on that. I'm not going to step on that. I think that's the perfect way to end this episode, man. Shador, yep. thank you so much for um, cutting out time to do this yep. and just for, you know, the work that we're doing and decided to continue to do more work together throughout the year. Yes, thank thank you, you very much, man. Pleasure, thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Community Voices with Shador. Appreciate y'all, and we'll see y'all next time.